so that hopefully the sound is good. So we're standing up tall, feet parallel under your hips. Just let your arms rest at your side, close your eyes, and just start taking deep breaths in and out. I'm just going to adjust the screen as you do that. You're lifting your rib cage up, and at the same time, you're pressing your heels down, bringing your shoulders down. A deep breath in through the nose, and then you exhale through the mouth. So let's do a few more of those. Deep breath in, breathe in through the nose. Feel like you're drawing air to the back of the rib cage. You're expanding the rib cage sideways. And exhale, you're pulling your ribs back together. At the same time, you're pulling your belly in and up. One more deep breath in. And exhale, let all the air out. And then do a few shoulder rolls back. Just let all the tension and worries Slip away and then reverse those shoulder rolls. Don't think about all those carbs you've been having. And then let your arms just rest and then just nod your head forward and then slowly start to roll your head to the right. You're bringing your ear, right ear to the right shoulder, bring it around to the back. Left ear to left shoulder, nod your head forward. And now reverse. Even as you're doing this, you're pulling your belly in and up, pressing your heels down, lengthening through the spine. You nod your head forward and you lift your head up. Take a deep breath in, reaching up tall. Exhale, push the air away. One more time, deep breath in. Take your right hand, hold just below the left wrist and go up and over to the right. Press your left heel down. So you feel a stretch up that whole left side. Come back to center, switch sides. Up and over to the left, press your right heel down. Inhale, up tall, exhale, push the air away, create tension, shoulders down. Just heel toe your feet out so your feet are slightly wider than your hips. Belly pulled in, shoulders and hips in line, deep breath in. As you exhale, hinge forward with a flat back, you're reaching with your arms, and then you come into a forward fold. And just let your head be heavy here. Lift your belly up so you don't collapse your chest. You keep your spine nice and long. Belly pulled in. And then slowly rock side to side. Just loosening up those hamstrings. Breathing in and out. Come back to the center. Come up halfway, hands to the knees, and just pause here. Think about that opposition we're always looking for in Pilates. The top of your head is going in one direction. Your tailbone's going in the other direction as you lift your belly up. Shoulders are down. Heels press down. Inhale, exhale, forward fold again. Find that rocking side to side again. Maybe you hold your elbows with your hands. Rest your forehead on your forearms. Make your swing a little bit bigger. Right, just gently loosening up the hamstrings. And we're going to come back to center. Now, we're going to start to rock side to side. So you're coming into a little side lunge. So come to the right. Walk your hands to the left as you lunge to the left. And then back to the right. Belly is lifted. Back is flat. And back to the left. Do a few more at your own pace. Just being mindful of how your body is feeling today. Every day our body feels different. Maybe you did an extra long walk today, so your hip flexors are tight. So just be aware of that as you work out tonight, taking care with those areas that are a little bit sore. Come back to center. We're going to come into a little squat. So your hands are on the floor. You're going to bend your knees and drop your hips down. And you're going to take your elbows, press them into your inner thighs. Your hands come into a prayer position. You're trying to lift your chest. Now, if this is too hard to do, you can also just come onto the floor, sit crisscross and find a stretch like that. But if not, just hold this for a few seconds more. Elbow, shoulders are down. And then inhale, exhale, hands come down. Drop your head. You're going to come back into that forward fold. And then start to pivot to the right. So your right foot is in front. Your left foot is in back. So you're in this triangle position. Bring your hips in line. If you can't have your hands on the floor, you can have them up here on your thigh. You can have them on your calf, whatever works. 
Try to bring your right hip back and even with the left. Take a few breaths here. Your leg does not have to be completely straight. It's only as straight as you can make it today. And then deep breath in. As you exhale, you're gonna let that back leg slide back. So the left leg slides back. You come into a runner's lunge. Fingertips on the floor or hands. And hold it here, lift your belly up. And if it feels good, lower and lift your hips a little bit just to loosen up those hip flexors. And then hold it, straighten that right leg out so you're in that triangle position again. Walk your hands to the center so you pivot forward. Now we're gonna take it to the left side. So now pivoting left, the left leg is in front, your belly is lifted. Easier. Hips are in line, neck and shoulders are relaxed. Try not to lock out your left knee. And then let that right leg slide back. Your left knee is right over the ankle. You're lifting your belly up, shoulders are down. Press into your right heel so it's a nice strong position. And if it feels good and you want to deepen that stretch, you lower and lift your hips. And then you're gonna hold it, inhale. As you exhale, straighten that left leg. Start to walk your hands back to the center. And you're gonna let your head be heavy, tuck your tailbone, roll up one bone at a time. So you're coming up tall. Good, so we're gonna to come to the back of the mat now. We're gonna walk into a plank position and we're gonna do a little plank to down dog. So standing with your heels at the back of the mat, and I'm just gonna pull a little bit farther away. You're gonna take a deep breath in and bring your arms up. As you exhale, feel like you're diving forward. Your hands come onto the mat and you walk out to a plank. One, two, three. Hands are under the shoulders. You wanna make sure your plank is really strong. So you're pushing the mat away. You're pressing into your heels. You're lifting your belly up, little tuck of the pelvis. You don't want to be hiked, piked up here or sagging down here. So that's not where you're feeling strong. So push the mat away. Deep breath in. Inhale. As you exhale, use your core to lift your hips up into down dog. You're work, working your heels down to the mat, pushing the mat away, lifting the belly up as you work your sitting bones down. I mean, sitting bones up towards the sky. Your ears and your biceps are in line. Inhale, come up high in your toes, then roll through the spine like a wave so you're in your plank again. Belly is lifted. Inhale, exhale, pike back up. This time, walk it out. Whatever movement feels good. Bend one knee, keep one knee straight. Lift and lower both feet. Working your sitting bones up the whole time. Inhale, high up onto your toes, exhale, lower. Inhale, high up onto your toes, press your heels down, work your sitting bones up, bring your chest towards your thighs. Come up high, roll out to your plank again. We're gonna hold it here. So from here, we're either gonna hold the plank, or if you wanna add a little challenge, you're gonna hold your plank, trying not to let your body move, you're gonna bring your right hand, tap your left shoulder, bring it down, left hand to right shoulder. So the goal is to keep the rest of your body still. So we're in a plank, try tapping the shoulder, bring that hand down, tap, lower, tap, lower. Lift your belly, really use your core to stabilize. And then four, three, two, one, hold your plank, come up into down dog again. Work those sitting bones up. Lift your belly, lengthen through the spine. Come up high onto your toes, press your heels down. One more time, high onto your toes, roll through to a plank. Just gonna hold it here. Take a few breaths. Lift your weight up out of your shoulders. She's still okay. Now see if you can pick up your right leg and just extend it out and hold it. And then you're gonna bring your knee to your nose. You're gonna lift up high into a high plank, Round through the spine, knee comes to your nose, press back out. Knee to your nose, press back out. 
One more time. Press back out, hold, lower that right foot down, find your center again. Now the left side, extend that left leg, inhale, exhale, knee to your nose, you come forward, you lift, push, press out. Exhale, pull in, inhale, lengthen. One more. And press, bring that foot down, hold your plank, come down onto your knees, and child pose. So just release any tension. You can move your head around a little bit, roll your wrists around, roll your hands around, release any tension in your hands and your wrists. So then inhale. As you exhale, we're going to rise up coming into a quadruped position, hands under the shoulders, knees under the hips. Take a deep breath in, bring your head and tailbone up. Exhale, initiate from the core, round through the spine. Lift that upper back towards the ceiling. Inhale, lifting your chest. Exhale, drop your head, tuck your tailbone, lift up. The tops of your feet are flat on the mat and relax. Inhale, exhale, rounding through. Let's do one more. Inhale, exhale, drop your head. Tuck your tailbone, lift your weight up out of your wrist, lift your belly, and come back to a neutral spine. And then we're going to have a seat at the front of the mat. So we're going to start with some hinging back. So we're going to bend your legs so your, knee, your feet, knees, and hips are in line. Your feet are flat. If this position is not comfortable for you at all, because the most important thing is your shoulders are over your hips. If you can't sit up here without starting to roll back, just put your legs out, but try not to grip with your quads so your quads start to get tired. So whatever position works for you, hands across your chest. We're just going to start by small hinging back, flat back. You pause, you pull up. Breathe in through the nose to hinge back. Belly pulled in tight, exhale, lift. Three more like this. Shoulders stay down. Ribs are lifted. Exhale, come up taller. Maybe you go a little bit lower this time, but hold it. Lengthen your spine. Back is flat. Lift up. Get right up on your sitting bones. One more like this. Lift. Come up tall. So we're going to add on here. So I'm just going to face you so you can see better what I'm doing. We're going to reach our arms forward. So our arms are going to be straight. We're going to be using our arms now. Sitting up tall, you're going to hinge back and hold. Open your arms up. You're going to take your right arm. Twist to the left, bring your right hand towards the left arm. You brush it across your body, open, look to the right. Bring the left arm over, drag it across your body, look left. Bring the right arm over, drag it across, look right. One more time to the left. Don't let your legs move. Hold it, now you're looking forward. Use your core to lift up. Get really tall, shoulders down, ribs are lifted, inhale. Exhale, hinging back, bring your arms out, hold it here. We're gonna to go to the left first. Twist to the left, your arm comes over towards the, uh, right arm comes over towards the left arm, drag it across your body, look to the right, close it, open it up. Now to the left, try to keep your legs from moving. And to the right, hold, use your core and then bring your arms up. Come up tall, shoulders down. One more time, hinging back. Arms come out, get really long here. Shoulders down, neck is long, twist to the left. Right arm comes towards the left arm. Drag it across your chest. Look right, drag your left arm over. Look left. Let the twist happen at the rib cage, not the shoulders. And hold it, come up tall. Really get long in the spine, then sit crisscross. Walk your hands forward for a second. Just feel that nice stretch and release in your spine, a stretch in the inner thighs. Belly is lifted and your spine is long. Inhale as you walk your hands back. So last one we're gonna do. So instead of a flat back, we're gonna have a little tuck of the pelvis here. So you're gonna reach your arms forward, palm towards the ceiling. Now the twist is at the rib cage, you're gonna Make a little tuck, twist the rib cage, let your eyes follow your hand. 
no momentum, you bring your arm forward, you lift up, twist to the left, pull yourself up. Don't let it be the momentum from your arm lifting you. It's your core restacking and lifting. And then twist, and then lift up, and then twist. Try to keep your legs completely still. Lift up, shoulders down, twist to the left, eyes follow the hands. One more on each side. Inhale, exhale, lift up. Inhale, exhale, lift up. Sit crisscross one more time, walk your hands forward. And so now we're gonna come all the way down onto the mat. So onto our back. Your legs are bent or they're straight out in front of you. Arms are reaching in front of you. You start to slowly hinge back. When you feel the weight start to come out of your feet, hold it here, pull your belly in, pull your shoulders down. Drop an inch, hold it. Try not to move anything else. You're lifting your pelvic floor. Drop another inch. Drop that belly button down. One more time, drop an inch and hold. And then come all the way down. Pull your knees into your chest. Give yourself a little squeeze, walk side to side. One hand on each knee, do a few circles away from each other. It's just a nice stretch for your inner thighs and for your pelvis. And then reverse your circles, pull that belly in. We're gonna do the hundred here. So you're gonna bring your legs to chair. You can do the hundred in lots of different ways. The most important thing for the hundred is you're breathing in for a count of five, you're exhaling for a count of five. Your arms have to be super straight. You start a little bit higher than your hips and it's big motion, but your legs can be in chair, they can be on the floor, you can have your head down, you can be up in your C curve. You can also have your legs in chair, straight up or lowered. So wherever you are today, however your back is feeling, that's what you're gonna do. So start out with your legs in chair, inhale. As you exhale, head, shoulders and shoulder blades come up by pulling in with your core, you're reaching. And then like you're bouncing balls, super straight arm. Inhale, three, four, five, exhale. Inhale, three, four, five, exhale. If your legs are straight, bring your feet into that Pilates V. Squeeze your heels together. You're pressing a dime, but you're pulling your belly in. You're squeezing your inner thighs. Inhale, three, four, five, exhale. Inhale, three, four, five, exhale. Almost there, four, five, exhale. Inhale, three, four, five, exhale. Last set. Exhale, three, four, five, lower. Pull your knees in, rock your head side to side. Release any tension in your neck. Good, so now from here, we're gonna bring our legs back to chair. We're gonna do some toe dips. So arms are at your side. Pull your shoulders back. You wanna be wide across the collarbone. Take your triceps, the back of your upper arm, press them into your neck. Pull the shoulders back. Imagine your leg is in a cast. You keep this 90 degree, degree angle here and you hinge forward from the hip and pull it back up. And then the opposite side. So it's a slow controlled movement. The slower, the better. Like You're it. trying not to drop your foot and pull it back up. Inhale, lower, exhale, lift. Inhale, lower, exhale, lift. Let's do one more on each side like this and we're gonna change it up a little bit. We're gonna hold it here. Keep your left leg in chair, extend the right leg up. So your leg is as straight as you can make it. Flex that foot, push your foot up, press your hip down. So you're getting as much length in that leg as you can. Now without letting the left side of your body or your left leg move, lower the right leg down so it's just above the mat, point lift. Flex down, point lift. Flex down, point lift. As you lower, you're pulling your belly in more deeply to stabilize. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. Inhale, lower. Exhale, point and lift. Making your leg as long as you can. One more. 
point, lift, hold, lengthen, bend that leg to chair. So now the left side. So straighten out that left leg, flex your foot, press your foot up, press your hip down. Stabilize, pull your shoulders back, pull your belly in, lower, hover above, hover above the mat, point lift. Flex down, point lift. Flex down, point lift. You can feel your core working as you lower your leg. If you feel your belly popping up, pull it in more deeply. Keep that connection with your back to the mat so that you're not letting space, you're not letting your low back lift up. Two more. Flex down, point lift. One more. Flex down, point lift. Pull your knees in. Give yourself a little squeeze. Last thing for toe dips, legs come to chair. We're going to do double toe dips. If this feels like too much, go back to single. But with doubles, you only lower as low as you feel a challenge. It doesn't have to be to the floor, and you pull back up. Keep your low back connected to the mat, so pull your belly in as you lower, pull back in with your core. Inhale, lower, and exhale, pull up. Inhale, lower, pull in with your core to lift. One more time. And lift, pull your knees in, rock side to side. I'm just gonna take a quick sip of water, but we're gonna stay on our back. Our legs are in chair. Our hands are behind the head. Just take a moment just to feel that stretch across your chest. Let your shoulders soften. You're pulling your belly in and up and your shoulders are down far away from your ears. We're gonna come up into our C curve. So inhale and then as you exhale, use your core to lift your chest up. You're looking forward. So in this position, you wanna pull that belly down so it doesn't start to pop up. We're already lifted. From here, we're gonna lift an inch and lower. So your head never goes all the way back down. You're trying to get your shoulder blades off the mat and you're gonna lift and lower. It's like someone's pushing on your belly button to make your ch chest lift up. So use your core to lift and lower, lift and lower. Your head is being supported by your hands. So try not to strain your neck by leading with your head. Five more and four and three, and two, and one, hold it. We're lifted. Now without anything else moving, we're gonna twist to the right. You're bringing your left shoulder towards your right knee. Come back, switch sides. Come to the center and switch. So this is about stabilizing the pelvis as you twist your ribs side to side. So really keep the whole back of the pelvis glued down going side to side using those obliques. Now hold it up on the right. So we're lifted, twisted to the right, little pulses up. Two, three, four. Try not to let your legs move. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Come center, hold it. Twist to the left, hold, pulse up. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Come back to center, lower your head. Pull your knees in, rock side to side. Good, so now we're gonna bring our legs back to chair. Arms are at your side. And we're gonna do a little pelvic curl. So you're going to tuck your tailbone using your core to curl your tailbone up off the mat and you lower it. What you don't wanna do is move your legs to do it. So your legs move because you're using your core to tuck your tailbone and lower it back down. So think of the muscle that abdominal muscle between your belly button and your pubic bone. That's the muscle you're activating to pick up your pelvis. Just a little curl and release that curl. Inhale, exhale, curl up and release. And curl up and release. It's a small movement, but you should really feel it deeply. Two more, inhale, exhale, curl up and lower one more time. Now we're gonna bring the hands behind the head. Elbows are wide, shoulders are down. Knees, legs are in chair, knees over the hips. Inhale, exhale, you're coming into your C curve. Now we're gonna curl the tailbone up as you lift your chest even more. And then you open back up. Use your core to curl up and open. Try not to strain your neck at all. 
Your head's just going along for the ride. You're lifting your chest, you're curling your tailbone up and lower and up and lower. It doesn't have to be a big movement for you to really feel it. And then pull in and lower. Let's do five more. And four, try not to use momentum with your legs. And three, and two, and one. Lower your head, pull your knees in, and rock side to side. Place your feet down on the mat for a minute. Feet, knees, and hips in line, and just windshield wipe your knees side to side. Release any tension in your back. Good, so just feel that nice, Stretch in your hip flexors. And then bring your knees back so that they're pointing right up towards the feeling, it, feeling and then slide your legs out. So your legs are straight out on the mat. You're gonna flex your feet, press your heels down, reach overhead, full body stretch, like someone's pulling your arms, someone's pulling your legs, but you're not letting your back pop up. You're pulling your belly in. If your ribs are popping up, pull them down. We're gonna start the roll up here. So if you need to, you can press your feet into the wall. You can put your feet under the couch. Inhale, exhale, arms come up. Press your heels down, use your core to lift yourself up and stretch it forward. So it's, you're really thinking about lengthening the whole spine here. And everything's reaching from the center and then you slowly start to roll back, resisting as you do. Push through your heels, reach with your arms. Bring your arms overhead, inhale. Exhale, arms come up, head, shoulders, and shoulder blades. Stretch it forward. Resisting as you come back, slowly. One bone at a time. Let's do one more full roll up. Try to keep your shoulders away from your ears. Pull yourself up, nice, smooth, controlled movement. Stretching it forward. Pulling in with the core to start going back again. Even though you're rolling back, you're reaching forward like someone has your arms. One more time, but this time we're gonna stretch forward and then restack our spine and sit up tall. Using your core restack like you're sitting up against a wall. Bring your legs out into a V for the soft. You're gonna flex your feet, you get really tall, lift your ribs, shoulders down, arms reaching like you're trying to touch the wall on either side. Twist as far as you can, then your left pinky reaches for your right pinky toe, but you're stretching and reaching in two directions. So it's a really active stretch. Press your left hip down, use your core to restack, lift, twist, and reach. And lift, twist, and reach. Lift, shoulders down, twist, and reach. Let's do one more on each side. And then last one, nice straight back, stretch, restack, bring your arms down, bring your legs together. Everybody's favorite, we're gonna do seated leg lifts. So we're gonna bring the right leg in. You can have your hands on your knee resting. You don't want a death grip. You wanna just have them there to rest or you can have genie arms, or you can press into the mat and lift your chest. Because what you want is a really flat back. You wanna be up here. You don't wanna be back here when you're lifting that leg. So point the toes on the left side. Sit up tall, start lifting that leg. This is a great quad exercise if you have any knee issues. And then flex your foot. Get up tall and keep breathing. Seven, eight, nine, ten. 10, flex out. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Flex in. Sit up taller. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Shake that leg out. We're going to switch sides. Pull the left knee in. Pull yourself up tall. Point your toes. Lift that leg. And then start lifting. Keep breathing. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And flex. Belly in. Six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Flex out. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Flex in. Sit up taller. Shoulders down. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Shake that leg out. Bring the soles of your feet together. 
Grab your ankles, pull yourself up tall, then candy cane forward, and you can press your elbows into your thighs if you want to deepen that inner thigh stretch. Belly is pulling in towards the spine, and then restack your spine. We're going to do some reverse planks here. So your legs are straight out in front of you. Your hands are just behind your hips. Your fingertips can be forward or they can be out to the side. If you have any wrist issues, because there's a lot, we did a lot of planks, roll up the back, give yourself an extra cushion like that or the side. So your legs are reaching. You're going to press down. Use your glutes to lift up. Look forward. You want to be a straight line from your sternum to your toes. Pull your belly in, lift out of your shoulders. Drop your hips, but don't touch the floor. Come close, squeeze right back up. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift right back up. Try to make a nice straight line. Two more. And lift. Lift out of your shoulders, wide across the collarbone. Last one. And lift and hold. Belly in, everything squeezing from the center, into the center. Lower all the way down. Reach up, stretch forward. You can grab your shins, your ankles, your toes. Lengthen your spine, a little stretch here. Restack, sit up tall. Give your wrists a little roll, because we're going back on the wrists again. So now we're going to do a reverse tabletop. So you start the same way. Hands are behind your hips. Fingertips forward or towards the side. Walk your feet in. Feet, knees, and hips in line. And then you're going to use your glutes, push yourself up. So now you're a table. You're looking forward. Don't let your head hang heavy towards the back. Squeeze your glutes. Just take a few breaths here. Now, to make this more challenging, try to bring the right leg up to chair without your hips dropping. Lower it down. Left leg. So it's like we're walking. Lower it. Right leg. Lower. Left leg. Lower. One more on each side. Hold it here. We're going to come into a little pike. So we're going to press into the mat so we're not sinking into our shoulders. Start to bring our hips down. Don't touch the mat with your bottom. Straighten your legs out, pike forward. Pull in with your core. Lift back up into your table. Inhale. Exhale, pike back. You're hinging forward and then using your core to lift back up. One more time. Use your core, lift up. Lower your hips down a little bit. Elbows go straight back. Do some tricep dips. Don't sink into your shoulders. Elbows go straight back. Five more. Four. Three. Two. One, come all the way down. Sit crisscross, walk your hands forward. Once you walk them forward, maybe roll your hands around, relax it, and take any of that tension out of your wrist. And then walk your hands back, sit up tall. Good, so now we're gonna come onto our elbows. So your elbows come back in line with your shoulders. Your hands are by your hips, your chest, and uh, tailbone are in line. So you're a straight line in your body. You don't want to start sinking here. Bring your legs to chair. So you're going to hold this position, and then you're going to start to bicycle your legs slowly. So as the weight of your legs challenges your core, you're trying to hold on to that nice straight line of your spine. Four, three, two, one, hold it now, reverse your, your bicycles. Keep breathing. Try not to round your back, chest is lifted. Four, three, two, really extend that leg, one. Pull yourself up, walk your hands forward, sit crisscross. Walk your hands back, we're gonna come into a balance point and then do rolling like a ball. So. Legs are bent, press your hands behind your thighs, press yourself up. Again, just like on your elbows, lift your chest up, your back is nice and flat. Your calves 
are parallel to the floor. So if this feels like a challenge, because this can be a lot of work for your core, just to hold this without any movement, stay here. If you want a little bit more challenging, reach your arms forward. Take a few breaths here. If you want to make it even more challenging, squeeze your inner thighs, squeeze your heels together, come up into your teaser and hold. Four, three, two, one. Come back to your balance point. Hands below the knees, elbows wide, just drop back. Come up and hold. Drop back, come up and hold. Maybe tighten that ball up a little bit. Pull your belly and lift up, then drop back. Come up and hold, keep it really tight, two more. Inhale, exhale, lift, last one. One more time, sit crisscross and walk it forward and then restack your spine. We're gonna come onto our stomachs here. So we're gonna flip around. Hands right under your shoulders. Elbows glued to your ribs. Your head is just hovering above the floor here. You press your pubic bone down to stabilize. You lift your belly button up. Imagine there's a blueberry under your belly button. Don't squish the blueberry. It's delicious, you wanna eat it later. No, that would be gross. <laughs> so just lift your belly up, press into the mat, breathe in through the nose. It's a small lift. Feel like you're pulling your chest through your arms, exhale lower. It's not about how high you can lift. It's about lengthening your spine and you lower. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, lower. Let's do one more. Breathe in through the nose, out through the mouth. Now, we're gonna lift our chest, but this time your hands come with you. So your hands are under your shoulders. You're gonna lift up and hold it. Your hands are hovering above the mat. Lift your belly up, lift your pelvic floor, extend your arms straight in front of you, but don't let your chest drop. Pull them back in, lower down. Chest lift hands come with you, push away. Hold, pull back, and lower. Two more. Deep breath in through the nose. Lift your belly. Push out, reach, pull in, lower. One more time. Use your glutes. Press your pubic bone down. Push out, pull in, and lower. We're just going to change our hand position. So as you're doing that exercise, when you lift up and reach forward, if you feel any discomfort in your low back, just keep your hands on the mat and do that modified swan instead. So don't hurt your low back, very important. So now bring your hands wider than the mat, but your elbows are still going back. Head is hovering above the mat. Same thing, inhale, hands lift as you lift your chest. Push forward, press back towards your legs, with straight arms, lift your chest even more. Bring your arms forward again. Bring your arms in, lower down. Lift, push. Lift higher, arms come to your sides. Bring them forward, arms come in and lower. Two more, lift, push. Inhale, lift, lift your chest. Reach forward, elbows come in lower. One more time. And lift, reach, elbows come in and lower. Child pose, push up and back. Feet together, knees apart. Reach your arms forward, bring your chest towards your thighs. Let your head just rest on the mat. Roll, release any tension in your wrist. Roll your hands around a little bit. And then inhale, exhale, come up onto your hands and knees. Just do a few cat cow stretches just to release any tension. And then we're gonna come up to standing. So here's when we're gonna do a little leg work for bar. So find that spot, either a wall, a couch, a husband, a son, a friend, a dog, they're too small. But anyway, so we're gonna stand. You can have one hand on the wall or you can face it. You want that Pilates stance. So your heels are together, your toes are apart, 
about fist distance. So it's not a super wide turnout, fist to distance. Imagine there's a zipper starting at your ankles. As you pull the zipper up, all your muscles come into the center. Your chest is lifted. We're gonna start some releves with releves. So first come up high onto your toes. Push those heels together. You're, there's a dime there. Don't wanna drop it because you know dimes are so val valuable. You wanna make sure you're not arching your back here. So everything is pulled in, you're tucking your tailbone. You hold it here. From here, we're gonna just lower our heels and lift, lower, lift, lower, lift. Now, normally I'd be playing some really great music here, but I can't, so just play your own song in your head. Squeeze up, heels touch lightly. Squeeze up, heels touch lightly. Four more, and three. If you're really working your calves, your feet, the muscles around your ankles, hold it up top, heels are pressed together, belly pulled in, now a little plie, your knees go wide, you squeeze back up. Drop, squeeze up, drop, squeeze up. So when you bring your legs together, use your glutes, use your inner thighs. Shoulders stay down. Keep that alignment, shoulders over the hips. Press your toes down, squeeze those ankles. Four, three, two, Drop down, stay down, keep that nice length in your spine, little pulse, pulse, pulse. Keep breathing. Four, three, two, one, stay down, hold it here, bring one arm up, find your balance. See if you can bring your other arm up, arms are reaching, shoulders are down. Come up tall, bring your arms down, press your heels down. Now separate your feet so they're parallel right under your hips. Same thing. You don't want to arch your back. Tailbone is slightly tucked down. Come up high onto your toes. Press all 10 toes down. And then heels slightly touch, lift, touch, lift. You're barely touching the floor. Imagine there's a wall behind you. You're just sliding up and down this wall looking straight ahead, touch, lift, touch, lift, belly in tight, four more, three, two, one, lift, stay lifted, now knees are gonna go straight ahead, little plie or squat, lift, push, lift. To lift back up, use your glutes, pull your belly in, press your knees forward, push, Push, keep breathing, shoulders down, and four, three, two, one. Come down, hold it here, little pulse. Knees are going forward, just up and down, like you're sliding down that wall. Belly in tight, try not to let your back arch, use your core to stabilize, and four, Three, two, hold it down. Bring up one arm, bring up the other arm. Hold it, maybe drop another inch. Shoulders over the hips, come up tall, press your heels down. Now bring your feet slightly wider than your hips. Toes are turned out. You probably don't even need the wall or whatever you're using for balance here. Knees come wide, you come into plie, squeeze your glutes to lift. Down, lift, down, lift. Knees track over your big toe. If you feel your tailbone starting to lift up, pull it in. Shoulders down and relax. You lift up by squeezing your glutes, push the floor away, squeeze up. Four more, three, two, one. Hold it here. Come up onto your toes. Same thing, nice straight line. Knees come wide, lift, lift, lift. Squeeze those glutes. Keep breathing. And four, three, two, hold it down, little pulse, pulse, pulse. 
Now hold it here. Keep your left heel up, put your right heel down and pulse there. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight more here. Deep breath in, exhale through the mouth. Hold it here, now switch. Right heel comes up, left heel comes down, pulse. Six, seven, eight more. Five, six, seven, eight. Bring that heel down, stay in this little plie. Bring one heel up, keep the other heel down, switch switch. So you're trying not to let your hips move as you switch. One heel up, one heel down. Tuck your tailbone, pull your belly in. Four, three, two, one. Both heels down, come up tall. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, hinge forward with a flat back. Forward fold. Press your heels down. Roll up one bone at a time. Good, so now we're gonna face the wall, the chair, whatever. Make a V with your feet. And you're looking forward, your hip bones are straight, pointing forward. You're just gonna keep that external rotation with your right leg, just slide up behind you. So it looks like this, your hips are in line, you're not back here. Your weight is on your left leg, you're leaning forward a little bit, just lift it and lower that right leg. Imagine it's your right glute, lifting it, lift 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 it's a small little movement shoulders down the knee can be slightly bent on the left leg four three two one bring that heel in so i have that v again step back with that left leg hips are straight across shoulders straight across lift little lift up keep breathing keep lifting your chest Try not to let your weight sink onto your right leg. All your energy is going up. Squeeze your glute to lift. And four, three, two, one. Lower that leg down. Now bring your legs parallel. Good, so from here, you're going to bend the right leg. You're standing up tall, shoulders and hips in line. Flex that foot. Now, if you had one of these little balls, I'd say, Squeeze it between right at the back of your knee. If you happen to have one nearby, go ahead and do that. Otherwise, we're gonna use that imaginary ball. Foot is flexed and you're just gonna squeeze the ball, heel to the glute. You just squeeze, squeeze. As you're doing this, knees are in line straight across. Your top of your leg isn't moving at all. You're just bringing your heel to your glute. Squeeze, squeeze. Get taller off that left leg. Squeeze, squeeze. Four more, three, two, one, hold it here. Now your foot is flexed, push your foot back an inch, pull in, push, pull, push. You're trying to put a footprint on the wall behind you, but you don't wanna move your hips and your upper body. It's all happening below the waist. Press back, press, press, press. Get taller off your left leg, belly in. Four, Three, two, hold it, point your toes, push back. You're poking a wall, a hole in the wall behind you. Get taller, four, three, two, one. If you can, take that right leg, cross it above the left knee, sit back. If you can hold on to something for a figure four stretch, just releasing any tension in that glute and your hamstrings and then come up tall. We're gonna do the same on the other leg. So feet are parallel under the hips. You just bend that left leg, flex the foot, and then imagine you're squeezing a little ball. You're just bringing your heel towards your glute, getting really tall. Weight even on that right foot. Just squeeze the ball, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Keep squeezing and stay lifted. And four, three, two, one, hold it, push it back an inch, pull in, push, push. Nothing moves above the waist, belly in. 
Try not to let your weight sink down onto that right leg. Push, push, four, three, two, one. Point your toes. Poke a hole in the wall behind you. And four, three, two, one. Cross that left foot over the right knee. Sit back. Release any tension. Standing up tall. One more to go. So we're going to do a little like side lying on, your, on the mat. We're going to lift this leg up and move it around. So I'm just going to rest my hand on this supporting pole here. Turn. So I have my right leg next to this pole. So my right leg is the standing leg. Turn your toes out a little bit, and you're going to lean in and pick up that left leg. Flex your foot. Hand can be on your hip. You can also have it overhead if you want to try to add a little balance to it. You're going to swing it forward, point, reach behind you. Flex forward, point, reach behind you. Just like on the mat, try not to let your hips move. One more. Flex your foot, hold it out to the side, lift. Lift, lift, lift. Nothing else moves. Five, four, three, two, one. Hold it, point your toes, circle forward. Try not to sink down. Hold and reverse. Two, three, four, five. Lower that leg down. Take a deep breath in. Go up and over to the right. Come up, go up and over to the left. Stand up tall. So we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. You can just turn around, but I'm gonna to go to this other wall so I can see what's happening here. I'm just resting my hand on the wall, turning my left foot out towards the wall just a little bit. Lean in, take that leg up. You wanna make sure your hips are stacked, one on top of the other, you're not forward or back. Use those side glutes, hold that, those side, side muscles, hold it up. Swing it forward, point, reach behind you without your hips moving forward and back. Keep breathing. Two more. Last one. Hold it out to the side, flex your foot, lift, lift. You want a long line from your rib cage to your hip bone. Staying lifted off that left leg. Five, four, three, Two, one, hold, point your toes, circle forward. Two, three, four, five, and reverse. Two, three, four, five. Place that foot down. Up and over to the right and to the left. Release any tension. We're gonna come back to the mat. So we're gonna have a seat. We're gonna come all the way down for some pelvic lifting. It's great for the back, working the glutes a little bit more, and then we'll do some stretching. So coming all the way down, first pull your knees in, give yourself a little squeeze. Rock side to side. Nice little massage for the back of the pelvis. Bring your feet down onto the floor. Feet, knees, and hips in line. Shoulders are back, pull your belly in, make sure your ribs aren't popping up. Inhale, as you exhale, you curl your tailbone up. You slowly come up one bone at a time. Your weight is resting over the shoulder blade. Squeeze your glutes. Push your knees away from you. Pull everything into the center. Reach your arms up so you're just balancing on those shoulder blades. Keep reaching towards the ceiling as you slowly come down one bone at a time. Arms come down. Inhale, exhale, pelvic lift. Slowly come up. Squeeze your glutes, pull your bellies in. Bellies, belly. I feel like I have bellies. Reach your arms up. Slowly come down, one bone at a time. Arms come down. We're gonna add a little movement at the top this time. Pelvic tilt, peeling up. We're gonna hold it here. Now you're gonna come up onto your toes, but walk your feet in a little bit. Find that straight line again. Knees to your sternum, pull your belly in. Everything is pulling into the center. Take that imaginary ball, squeeze it between your inner thighs. Press, press, press. 
pull your belly in, you're lifting your pelvic floor, you're pressing your triceps down. Keep breathing. Belly in. Four, three, two, hold it. Now push your hips up an inch lower. Push up lower. Press. Little pulses up. Press up. Weight even across your toes. Five, four, three, two, one, hold. Bring your heels down, walk your feet out a little bit. Slowly come down, one bone at a time. Pull your knees into your chest. Give yourself a little squeeze. Bring your feet down onto the mat, knees are bent. Windshield wipe your knees side to side. Let them be heavy on the right side. Just feel that stretch of the left side of your body. If you want to deepen it, you pick up your right foot, place the outer edge of that foot on the outside of your left knee. And just let the weight of your leg deepen the stretch. Extend your left arm out to the side, look left, soften your left shoulder. Place that foot down. Bring your knees back to center and then drop them all the way to the left. First, just let them be heavy. And then if you want to deepen it, pick up your left foot, place the edge of your left foot, outer edge on the outside of your right knee. Extend your arm to the right arm to the side, look to the right. And then place that left foot down, bring your knees back up. Bring the soles of your feet together and just gently let your legs open up so you get an inner thigh stretch. Make sure you're not arching your low back. So keep your low back connected to the mat. You can have your hands resting on your belly. You can bring them like goalpost arms out to the side if you want a little stretch of the upper body. Ribs are connected, belly pulled in and up. Relax the face, neck is long. And then deep breath in. As you exhale, knees come back up. Heel toe your feet to the outer edge of your mat or out onto the floor. And just let your knees come to the center. And they rest there, just giving your outer thighs a stretch. Take a few breaths here. And then bring your knees back up. Heel toe your feet back. Pull your right knee into your chest, give a little squeeze, pull your left knee in, and then extend the left leg out, either hovering above the mat or on the mat, straighten the right leg out, and you can lift up into your C curve or keep your head down. Flex and point that foot. Pull your belly in. Keep your toes pointed, circle your foot in one direction, and then the other. And then we're gonna lower our head down. If your lifted knee comes into your chest, pull the left knee in, extend that right leg out. Your leg can be on the mat or hovering it above, above it. Straighten out the left leg, hamstring stretch. Head is down or you're in your C curve. And then flex and point. Pull your belly in. Keep your toes pointed, circle in one direction. And then the other, lower down, pull both knees in, kick your legs, roll up, sit crisscross, sit up tall, shoulders down, belly in, nice long spine, place your right hand down on the mat, left arm is extended, palm towards the ceiling, and just curl up and over. Use your side body to lift yourself back up, switch sides. Pull yourself up, switch sides. And then one more time to the left. Come all the way up and then one more deep breath in. Exhale, let all the air up, push the air away, create tension, get really tall. And that's it. Good night. No, I'm just kidding. Good night, everybody. <laughs>
So you can 